Once you guys got another video here for you, can't update Windows 11 PC. Now, there's a couple of people in the comment section that were commenting saying they think they followed one of my videos or run some form of script on there to block feature updates and they are stuck on 23H2. So whatever version of Windows you're on, if you're struggling to update your version of your PC, uh, this is the video for you. I'm going to show you how you can fix and resolve this issue you can see we're stuck here on 23H2. It's not going to receive any more updates. And a lot of people get into this situation where they run some sort of WinUtil tool or some sort of script or something like that that blocks feature updates. And of course, what will happen, you'll be stuck on that version of Windows until you remove that uh, you know, registry edit or that uh, policy that's been set in place. There's been quite a few people that have also said that they have tried to update their version of windows by using the windows 11 installation assistant and things like that and what happens is they reboot the pc and it goes straight back into the version of windows that they're on it doesn't actually upgrade that version of pc and the reason why is because you have policies or some form of uh, setting in your pc that is telling windows that you want to stay on that version of windows this is the big problem with altering the registry or making policy changes or running scripts or utility tools on the internet because what they will do is they will block feature updates and you'll run into this major problem here. Now there is other reasons why you can't update your version of Windows and we'll go through all of those and I'll show you how to resolve them and how to fix them. I'm going to quickly speed this up right here and you can see it's now asking me to restart the PC. We've run the Windows 11 uh, installation assistant right here when I reboot the PC it's going to come straight back to the version of Windows that we're on right here and it hasn't upgraded us to the newer version and the reason for that is because like I said we have a policy in place here but it could be that you have either a corrupt operating system or you don't have enough space on your drive and we're going to go through all of these in this video and I'll show you exactly how you can fix a lot of these problems uh, on your PC so and we'll go through each individual one of them until we fix it so let's have a look right here so we've got, gone straight back into our operating system that we was originally on and this is another common problem you see when people try to update it just doesn't let you update on your pc so the first thing you want to do right here is check your hard drive make sure you have sufficient space on your drive if you are using a drive that is pretty full and you're trying to update windows there isn't enough storage space on that drive for it to be able to roll out the update and it will just go straight back to where you were started uh, it will sometimes tell you that your drive doesn't have enough space or sometimes it will just check and it will go straight back and it will avoid uh, the upgrade now it's important that you free up space now microsoft say you're going to need at least uh, you know 30 to 35 gigabytes of free space I would say, uh, you know, 40 gigs free is adequate. You should at least have 40 gigs free on your drive and you should be able to carry out an in-place upgrade or reset this PC or a Windows update to a new feature update. You'll be able to roll out that update and you should have enough space. Now, sometimes Microsoft will tell you that you don't have enough space and it has to abort and clean up the drive and roll back. But just make sure that you do have enough space there to carry out any of these uh, sort of procedures on the PC. And remember when you're using programs like Storage Sense, it's going to delete stuff in your downloads folder if you check mark it and things like that. So just make sure you understand what it's going to remove uh, from the PC. Now, the Windows.old folder does hold a bit of data as well. So if you do look on rolling back the PC at some point, be careful. If you uninstall that, you won't be able to roll back. So be very careful on what sort of data you are cleaning off the system it's probably best just to back up some data to another drive and free up some space and believe it or not this is probably one of the most common problems why you can't uh, do an update or an upgrade on your pc next up we're going to take a look at another problem uh, which is uh, you know policies that have been set on the pc so whether you've made registry edits or whether you've done group policy settings or whether you've used programs like Wintool or any of these programs that are blocking feature updates or doing things like that. If you're running any sort of setting uh, using any sort of script, it's going to block it and you're going to need to revert back and reset those. Otherwise, 
uh, you're not going to be able to update. Now, the reason why that happens is because let's say that you make a policy change to keep Windows 11 on, say, 23H2. That's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to stay exactly on 23H2, and you will never be offered the next update. It will just not show up, and it won't be visible, and you will be stuck on 23H2. Like you can see right here, this system has been set up to stay on 23H2. And this could be 24H2 that you're stuck on or whatever it is that you are forcing Windows to stay on. So our target release version for our PC in this case is 23H2. And it will not update with those settings on. So it's important that you undo these. You can either delete them if you've got Windows 11 Home or Windows 10 Home Editions. It will be a registry key like this, and you can either change it or you can delete the whole key and get rid of it. And let's have a look. So I'm going to remove these keys. You're not going to break your PC. These get added when you add these policies in place. Also, you can check Group Policy Editor if you have Windows 11 or Windows 10 Pro and above. This will have Group Policy Editor, and these policies may be set inside your Windows Update section like this, and you're forcing Windows to stay on that version. It's important that you undo these changes or make changes to this to be able to roll out to the next version. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck and it will never update. These settings and policies are normally set for businesses, so they don't update Windows on a regular basis. They run the same version for a very long time and they roll out updates in a controlled manner rather than uh, you know, just running updates every single time there's an update release, just in case it breaks the system. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this Windows Update folder right here and all the keys inside, and you can restart the PC or undo any sort of changes that you have made and reverse them. And then once you do that, you should be able to update to the next version of Windows or the next build of Windows, i.e. from 23 H2 to 24H2 or 24H2 to 25H2 if you've been uh, freezing that feature update on your system. So we're going to restart our system and that is resetting all your policies. Now also there is some ways of running batch files which can reset uh, all of your policies on your PC. I've got that batch file on my Discord server. You can download it from there and uh, you can basically run it and it will remove all of the policies and set your PC back to default. Next, you can see right here, uh, group policies are being reset, and also the policies inside the registry are going to be reset as well. And that's important because if you've made policy changes to that system, it will reset them, and you should be able to restart the PC, and hopefully your problem goes away. And the reason why I'm laboring that point is because it's a very common problem where people run programs or scripts on the internet and it will block things. And this makes changes to your system. So make sure you undo all of those. Next, you can reset the Windows Update uh, components. Basically, when Windows updates come down, they get put into the software distribution folder on your system. And basically, sometimes they can get corrupted and it will stop the Windows update from working. So you can run a batch file. This batch file is also on my Discord server. People always ask where these files are. They're on the Discord server and they're stored on there. Or they're on my website. You can download them there as well. And you can run these and what it's going to do is clear out all of that folder. And you can do this manually. You can also, uh, you know, remove these files using other applications that are just basically scripts as well. It just depends on how you want to go about doing it. But it's pretty straightforward. What it's going to do is stop some services and then delete the contents in the folder and then it will basically restart those services again, as you can see it doing right here. And once that's done, you should then be able to update Windows again. And it's important that you restart your PC after this. And this is if you've got a problem with your Windows update components on your system. So this is another common problem where Windows gets corrupted and you might need to fix it. And this is how you can go about fixing it. So we could quickly restart the PC now we've uh, cleaned all that, that stuff out. And uh, what we'll do is we'll get back to the desktop and we'll move on to the next thing that you need to try. Also, 
you can force an update to come down. I made a video on that uh, a couple of days ago, so check back a couple of days after this video or a day, and you'll be able to see a video how you can force an update to come down. So if you have made changes, you might want to change that to the next version, and it will come down to your system. You can see now we do have a version here, Windows 11 version 24H2. I did stop that just for this video just to show you. Uh, I restarted the PC just to show you. It's obviously started to come down, and that's why it says retry. But if I retried that, it will start coming down, and we'll be up and running. Next, it's important that we uh, check the PC for any sort of corrupt files on the system. You can do that by opening up Command Prompt as administrator and type SFC space forward slash scan now. Run that on the system. Let it run, and it will tell you if you've got any uh, corrupt files and, and you can basically see here it found corrupt files and it successfully repaired them. And that's now fixed. What you want to do is if you've got a lot of corrupt files and it's having trouble, you can run this next command. But if it has fixed it and it's working, you should be OK. Next, we've got this command here, dism uh, space forward slash online space forward slash clean dash image space forward slash restore health. You can run that on your system and it will tell you whether that was successful at the end. So just run that through and you can see the restore operation completed successfully. And now you want to run SFC space forward slash scan now again, just to check to make sure the system is fully working and there's no any corrupt files left. So all we need to do now is I'm just going to quickly use my up arrow keys just to scroll through the commands that we use so we can use the SFC space forward slash scan now command and run that on the system. And hopefully when we run that one more time, it should give us a full clean bill of health and we should be able to continue on with updating our system. So let's quickly do that right here. So I'll just go up and use the arrow keys and we'll run that scan one more time. So I'll speed this up so it doesn't take too long and hopefully we get a clean bill of health like we've got here so we've got the system is working perf perfectly fine we don't have any integrity violations so now we know the system is running how it should be next you want to make sure that all of your drivers are installed on your system so make sure there's no missing drivers on here that's important because that can cause issues as well so go to your motherboard manufacturer's website and download all the latest drivers for your system and install them and update them on your PC. It's important that you keep all your drivers updated and always get them from the manufacturer's website. Next is another important one, which is another common problem. People are updating Windows on a Wi-Fi connection and it's not that stable and that can cause issues. So you wanna make sure you're using an ethernet connection if possible and you're not having any sort of issues with your internet connection, i.e. Uh, packet loss or any sort of dropouts in connection and things like that you can do checks on your status of your network and things like that i'm not going to go into that too much but you should always check your network connections because having a stable internet connection is essential for updating windows because it's going to need to download files and if it can't download those files during the update process it's going to back out and uh, not uh, continue with the update it's that simple so make sure that you've got good internet connection and you're not using any form of proxy or dodgy DNS server or anything like that. Next up, there's a couple of areas inside the system and recovery options. And one of them is fix problems without resetting this PC. And this will try that option right here. And you've got fixed problems using the Windows update. Reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, your files and settings will be preserved. You can try that right here. And there's also a reset this PC option as well, which is the last ditched hope to try and fix any sort of problems that you might be having. If you're going down this route, then your operating system is fully corrupted and you've got some form of issue and it might need to be reinstalled and you can use the reset uh, this PC. And once you've done all that, you should now start to be able to run updates on that PC and they should start to come down and you should have uh, no issues updating your system. And that's basically how you can resolve a lot of these problems. Like I said before, there's many different reasons why Windows updates are not working. And it could be all of those ones we've talked about in this video. Now, it's also important that you can go to the Microsoft website 
where it says download Windows 11 right here. And you can download the Windows 11 installation assistant right here and run this on the system. Or you can do an in-place upgrade using the ISO file. You can download that from uh, their website and you can mount it and then go through the in-place upgrade if you want to do that as well. That should work. Um, but if you've got policies set in place using the Windows 11 uh, assistant, uh, might not work. It will block you. So just make sure you use the in-place upgrade. If you've got policies in place and you don't want to release them for some reason, then obviously use that method. But now what we're going to do is go through the Windows 11 installation assistant one more time to see whether this actually works now because hopefully we've fixed and resolved the issues that we've got. So I've run through here, I'm going to quickly restart the PC. And uh, once we restart the PC, hopefully this will start to upgrade this PC from 23H2 to 25H2 because that is the very latest version on their page. And that's what version should be installed on this PC now we've run the Windows installation assistant. So you can see right here on the system page, let's go down to the about and we should now see that we're running 25H2. And there we go, we've resolved that issue. That's basically all you need to do. Hopefully this answers all your questions. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.